Oh, can. Oh, it's loading a while ago. You see it? Okay, once again, good evening, can. Can you hear, teacher? Okay, can you hear me? Why is it loading a while ago? You can't hear me? Try to check the audio there. You see the audio? Have you see when your father last time check it? I mean, fix it. Do you see it? The volume. Try to check the volume. I'll chat your mom. Your mom is there. Oh, yes, and now I can hear you. Oh, uh, teacher, can I, uh, can, uh, may I go uh, to the toilet? Okay, just for a while and come back. I'm done, teacher. Okay, you're done. So once again, good evening, Ken. Good evening, teacher. Okay, tonight let's have listening and speaking. Okay, are you ready? Um, yes. Okay, so there I'll do the share screen. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen there? No. Oh, for a while. We'll make it large. That one, can you see it? No. Not yet. How about that one? Maybe it's a bit loading. There. Can you see that one? No. Not still? How about that? You see it? No. Oh, okay, for a while. Why is it? Okay, there. Maybe it's a bit loading. Okay, there. That one. No. Not still? Yeah. But oh i see your i see your face already okay can you see it yes no you didn't see anything in your screen why no. okay try to who's with you there Who's with you there, Kat? What? Okay, who's with you there? Is your mom is there? No. Oh, your dad. 
I'll, I mean, I'll text your, I'll chat to your mom. Your mom is in Why, the I uh, check uh, the, uh, the, 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 my computer. Why it uh, not so good? Okay, I'll try to chat to your mom to fix your computer if you can see my screen. Oh, I can, I can see now. I can see because uh, uh, I didn't uh, uh, pick up the um, my uh, computer screen. Okay, there. So, what on your screen? Can you read that one? Yeah. Test on listening and speaking. Test. Do like that. Test. What is this? Test. Test. Okay, so listening and speaking. So here, let's have listening. So you're going to use your ears to listen and you need to speak for this. Okay, so for part one, what you will do. Okay, can you see the picture there, Can Can you see the picture there? Yes. Okay, yeah. you can see the picture there. So there. Listen and draw, draw. There is one example there. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay, try to move your camera because I can see yet. I can see your face clearly. Okay, I send the screen. I'll play the audio. Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. This looks like a great computer game. How do you play it? Well, you have to move these robots from the countryside into space. And the robots all have boys and girls' names? Yes. The yellow ones are boys and the red ones are girls. Look. The boy robot on the bridge is called Richard. Yes, I see. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Okay, listen so, and draw. So, do they have to get to the planets? That's right. Two robots have already got there. Yes. Who is the one who's pointing? That's Harry. Do they start from the road? Yes, look. Can you see the two boy robots together? Yes, they haven't started yet. No, but they're ready. They look the same. No, one's got a square head. His name is Nick. Why is that robot swinging from a tree? Well, there are two ways to cross the river. The slow way is the bridge. And the other way is to swing across. Yes, Helen has found the quickest way. But she might fall in the water. What do they have to do next? After they cross the river, they climb the stairs. Look! Two robots are racing up the stairs. Yes, and this one is Betty. She's winning. Betty. Who's that robot? She's trying to get onto the stairs. That's Emma. She has to wait at the bottom. Why? Only two robots can go on the stairs together. I understand the game now, I think. Okay, let's play it then. Okay. Now listen to part one again. You want one more to check your answer? No. So, do they have to get to the planets? That's right. Two robots have already got there. Yes. Who is the one who's pointing? That's Harry. 
Do they start from the road? Yes. Look, can you see the two boy robots together? Yes. They haven't started yet. No, but they're ready. They look the same. No, one's got a square head. His name is Nick. Why is that robot swinging from a tree? Well, there are two ways to cross the river. The slow way is the bridge. And the other way is to swing across. Yes, Helen has found the quickest way. But she might fall in the water. What do they have to do next? After they cross the river, they climb the stairs. Look! Two robots are racing up the stairs. Yes, and this one is Betty. She's winning. Who's that robot? She's trying to get onto the stairs. That's Emma. She has to wait at the bottom. Why? Only two robots can go on the stairs together. I understand the game now, I think. OK, let's play it then. OK. That is the end of part with one. with your answer, Ken. Are you sure with your answer? Yeah. OK, well, let's try to check your answer. So I'll try to see in the screen. Could you... Could you please read the number one there? So we will check your answers here. Okay, try mm. the number one. Now, Harry and Yellowbo on Yellow Planet, uh, Planet Pointy. Okay, Harry and Yellow Robot on Yellow Planet, so pointing. Let's try to see if your answer is correct. Okay, good job, it's correct. Number two, I'll read number two. Nick and yellow robot in foreground with square head about to start the game. What's the name of that robot? With a square face. Can you see there? Nick. Oh, Nick, let's try to see if your answer is correct. Okay, good job, it's correct. How about number three? Try to read. Okay, number mm. three. Helen and Red Robot swinging across the river. Okay, river again, river. 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 Okay, that's right. River, river. One more. River. Okay, so. That is Helen. Let's try to check if it's correct. So, okay, that's good job. So, Helen and the red robot swinging across the river. Okay, for number four, I'll read it for you. Betty and red robot ahead of other robot on the stairs. Okay, let's try to check if it is this one is Betty. Okay, very good. That is Betty. And the last, the last one. What is the last one there? Number five. What's number five there? Did you read the number five there, Ken? Mm, yes. Okay. Um, Emma and Red Robot waiting at bottom of stairs. Yeah. Okay, Emma is waiting at bottom of stairs. So this is Emma. And very good because all your answers are correct. So it means you you really listen properly. Okay, good job. So I'll give you more stars here. Okay, that's great because you listen properly. Okay, keep, keep it up. So do you have any questions about this one? No. No questions. Okay, that's great. So let's go to the next slide. So may I go out? Uh, may I go out too? Okay, just come back.
Okay, okay, teacher. For the next, for the part two of listening, I will. Can you see this one? You try to listen again. Listen properly and try to answer the blanks here. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. I'll play the audio now. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Okay, children, today is the last day of school. I want to ask you some questions about the holidays. Katie, what are you going to do? Well, first we're going to go shopping. I need a lot of new clothes for my holiday. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Where are you going for your holiday? We're going to a beautiful island. We go there every year. It's hot and there are banana trees everywhere. How are you going to get there? By boat? No, it's too far. We're going by plane. Well, that will be quicker. Are you going with your mum and dad? No, I'm going with my cousins. What are you going to do on the island? Well, swim. And I want to play a lot of volleyball. And are you going to take any homework with you? Oh, yes. Geography, of course. Excellent, Katie. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you. Okay. Can you answer it? Yes, Ken. Listen one more time. Listen okay, more. I will let you listen one more time. Listen, and you can also answer for the last time. All right. Yeah. Now listen to part two again. Where are you going for your holiday? We're going to a beautiful island. We go there every year. It's hot and there are banana trees everywhere. How are you going to get there? By boat? No, it's too far. We're going by plane. Well, that will be quicker. Are you going with your mum and dad? No, I'm going with my cousins. What are you going to do on the island? Well, swim. And I want to play a lot of volleyball. And are you going to take any homework with you? Oh, yes. Geography, of course. Excellent, Katie. Enjoy your holiday. Thank you. That is the end of part two. Teacher, I can uh, listen to, uh, um, uh, to holiday way. Okay. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Okay, children. Today is the last day of school. I want to ask you some questions about the holidays. Katie, what are you going to do? Well, first we're going to go shopping. I need a lot of new clothes for my holiday. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Where are you going for your holiday? We're going to a beautiful island. We go there every year. It's hot and there are banana trees everywhere. How are you going to get there? By boat? No, it's too far. We're going by plane. Well, that will be quicker. Okay. Are you good? Hey, I guess you're done with your answer. So before yeah. we will check your answer, look at my screen. Okay, try to see here. Who I mean what where did Kaylee spend her holiday? Mm, in Ireland. Oh, in a beautiful island. Good job. You got it right. So, what are you going to write in going there? Our plan. They will write with a? a plane. Okay, by plane. Very good. And who's with Case? Who's with mm, uh, Her cousin. Her cousins. So, they're going to, what they're going to do there? 
They will. They will swim and play volleyball. Okay, swim and play volleyball. After that, what they gonna bring for their homework? Uh, history. Oh, history or geography? That is geography. Okay, so have you tried to? Okay, look at here, Ken. Okay, look at here. Have you tried to experience going to an island? Have you? Mm, no. Oh, no. You haven't tried? Yes. How about riding an airplane? Yes. Oh, how of course. Okay, that's great. And what are, look at Katie. She likes to swim and play volleyball. Do you like that one too? No, because I don't know how to play it. You don't know how to play volleyball? Yeah. Uh, how about swimming? Uh, swimming, the, um, swimming, I know. Oh, you like to swim. Okay. So this time, how about, you know, what is the word geography? What is the word geography? Where's my mouse? Geography. You know what word is that? You know what word is mm. that? Yes. Yeah. yeah, what is geography for you? Geography is like a subject about um uh um geography is like um this subject learn about um learn about like uh um like um it's like learn about some places in the okay. earth okay some places of the earth so the land area the water area that is geography okay do you understand that word already yeah okay that's great so i'll try to erase your erase your answer all right. Do you have any questions about the here? Do you have any questions here? No. Okay, no. So this time, let's proceed to the next slide. And I want you to look at my screen and focus. Okay? Focus here. Okay, so what are you going to do here? Listen and write a letter in each box. And then there is one example already there. So the first there, David often forgets to bring things home. Where did he leave each thing? Okay, so are you ready? Yeah. Okay, I want to see you. I want to see you looking at the screen and listening properly. Okay, I need focus. Okay. Focus in here because I will just play the video once. Two times. Oh, oh two no, teacher. Two. Okay, two times, but I need you to listen properly, okay? Look at yeah. the screen, not looking to the other things, okay? Okay, very good. So I'll play now. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. David often forgets to bring things home. Where did he leave each thing? Oh no, where's my umbrella? I don't know. I took it to London with me the other day and now I can't find it anywhere. And it's going to rain soon. Oh, I know, I left it at the station. I'll phone them now. Can you see the letter F? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. I lost my camera on Friday. Did I tell you about it? No. What happened? We walked up a hill and when we got to the top, I put it down on the grass there. 
When we left. Look I at the screen. Oh dear. Look at the screen, Tan. Yes. And now I have okay. on my dictionary. I was using it in the library this morning when someone came to speak to me. I can't remember bringing it home. Oh, I think I left it on the desk there. David, you're terrible. Have you lost anything else this week? My torch. I had it with me when I was at Harry and Sally's house last night. I needed it because I walked there in the dark. But I didn't need it on the way back because I caught a bus. Oh, I remember. I left it in their kitchen on the table. And do you remember my old red scarf? Yes, I do. I gave it to you for your birthday, remember? Oh, yes. Sorry. It was a good one. Very soft and warm. And now I've lost that, too. We had a picnic by the lake last week, and I left it there that afternoon. But the worst thing... Yes? ...is I've lost my diary. David! I know. When I was in the cafe yesterday, it was in my pocket with my money. But then I took it out of my pocket when I visited the dinosaur museum after lunch. That's where it is. Now listen to part three again. Okay, listen one more. Try to... I lost my camera on Friday. Focus. Did I tell you about it? No. What happened? We walked up a hill, and when we got to the top, I put it down on the grass there. When we left, I forgot to pick it up. Oh, dear. And now I can't find my dictionary. I was using it in the library this morning when someone came to speak to me. I can't remember bringing it home. Oh, I think I left it on the desk there. David, you're terrible. Have you lost anything else this week? My torch. I had it with me when I was at Harry and Sally's house last night. I needed it because I walked there in the dark. But I didn't need it on the way back because I caught a bus. Oh, I remember. I left it in their kitchen on the table. And do you remember my old red scarf? Yes, I do. I gave it to you for your birthday, remember? Oh, yes. Sorry. It was a good one. Very soft and warm. And now I've lost that, too. We had a picnic by the lake last week, and I left it there that afternoon. But the worst thing... Yes? ...is I've lost my diary. David! I know. When I was in the cafe yesterday, it was in my pocket with my money. But then I took it out of my pocket when I visited the dinosaur museum after lunch. That's where it is. Okay. That is the end. There. So are you sure with your answer, Ken? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Try to move down your camera. I want to see your face. Okay. There. Where did she live? I mean, where did he live the diary? Where did he live the diary? He lived the diary at the um, new copy. Let's try to check if it's correct. Okay, the answer is that is. Your answer is G, right? Okay, I want to. Okay, I want to erase for a while. That is G. Oh, that is C. The diary is in C. Okay, how about where did he live? Oh, teacher. Yeah. Why is he? Why is he? I uh I uh. David uh, lost a diary. I asked here. David lost uh, her, uh, his diary at coffee. Okay, let's try to listen for a while later, okay? 
How about the scarf? Okay, let's try to listen. End of part three. Oh no, where's my umbrella? I, I left it at the station. I letter F. Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Oh yeah, let's try to listen. I lost my camera on Friday. Did I? Oh, I think I left it on the desk there. David, you're terrible. It's last night. I needed it because I walked there in the dark. My old red scarf. I left it there that afternoon. I had it with me when I was at Harry and Sally's house last night. I needed it because I walked there in the dark. But I didn't need it on the way back because I caught You're terrible. Have you lost anything else this week? My torch. I had it with me when I was at Harry and Sally's house last night. I needed it because I walked there in the dark. But I didn't need it on the way back because I caught a bus. Oh, I remember. I left it in their kitchen on the table. And do you remember my old red scarf? Yes, I do. I gave it to you for your birthday, remember? Oh, yes. Sorry. It was a good one. Very soft and warm. And now I've lost that, too. We had a picnic by the lake last week, and I left it there that afternoon. But the worst thing... Yes? ...is I've lost my diary. David! I know. When I was in the cafe yesterday, it was I in listen. my pocket with my money. But then I took it out of my pocket when I visited the dinosaur museum after lunch. Oh, the, the dinosaur. That's where it is. Okay, it is in a dinosaur museum. Do you hear it? Yeah. Uh, and for the scarf, where did he live? The scarf in the... What's that? Oh, what place is that? The scarf is the lake. Okay, well, it's in the lake. Okay, good job. How about the dictionary? Where did the he... dictionary is uh, in the library uh, E. Okay, in the library and the camera. Where did he live? The camera is in area uh, 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 grass. Okay, in the grass and the torch. How about the torch? Yes. Is uh, D in the okay. kitchen. Okay, D in the kitchen. Okay, the answer is letter. What's that's that? For a while, I can see it. So let's try to. Okay, letter D. Good job. So can you read the words here before we all move to the other? How will you read this one? That is? What? Did you read the words there, the one I underlined before we'll proceed? There's an uh, umbrella, dairy, scarf, dictionary, camera, torch. Okay, good job. So you only have one mistake. Okay, that's still good job. Do you have any questions about that one? No. Yeah, your, your, your mistake only is the diary. First place there is in the coffee shop, but he's, he lost it in the dinosaur museum, right? So there for the next, what you're gonna do is listen and pick the box. And there is one example there. Are you with me? Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. So I will just play the audio now. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Which baby is Michael? Look, Michael. 
Here's a picture of you when you were a baby. Oh, no. Am I the one without any hair? No. You had lovely hair. That's you, carrying a blanket. Are you sure? Yes, of course I'm sure. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Which is Michael's grandfather? Okay, try to click. These are very old photos. Yes. Can you find a picture of your grandfather when he was a young man? Is this him? Was he a dentist? No, that was Uncle Fred. This man is writing something. Was Grandfather a journalist? No, that wasn't him. Your grandfather was a farmer. Um, Two. Um, where did Michael's family live? Look at this one. This is where we lived when you were a baby. Was that our house on the top of the hill? Yes, it was lovely. You could see for a long way. Were there no other houses near us? No. There was a big forest near our house. It was so quiet. <laughs> but you were a noisy baby. OK, so where did Michael's family live? OK, let's try to check your answer. So. Which is Michael's grandfather? What is the work of Michael's grandfather? That is? Yes, of course. Okay, very good. Michael's grandfather, sorry, is a farmer. How about where did Michael's family live? Where they live? Yes. It describes. Where they live, they live. Okay, I know you can. Where they live, can you explain? You are you're answering A there. What's an A? Can you describe it? They live in a small house and in the hills in uh, another hills. There are many trees. Okay, and there are big forests. Only one house and no other houses there on the top of the hill. Okay, good job. You get the correct answer, Ken. Next, for number three, four, and five. Okay, listen and think. Three, where did Michael's family go on holiday? This photo looks interesting. Yes, I took it on one of our family holidays. What? In the jungle? We didn't sleep in that tent, did we? Yes, we did. By that river. It was great. Those insects look horrible. Those aren't insects. They're very small birds. Four. Which photo are they talking about? Was this a birthday party? No, it was Christmas. Christmas. Can't you see the Christmas tree? Christmas. Oh, yes. Who's that man in the photo? That's your Uncle Jim. He looks so young. Why has he got a rucksack? That's the present that we gave him for Christmas that year. He still uses it now. Five. Which boy is Michael? Oh, no. When did you take this picture? Last week. Don't you remember? You went to sleep. Where? Downstairs in the armchair with your mouth open. You take lovely pictures of everybody else but horrible ones of me. Okay, are you 
Let's try to check if your answer is correct. Okay, try to see here. Okay, try to see there. Can you see it? So where did Michael's family go on holiday? Yes, can. Okay, where did Michael's family go on holiday? Is uh, I. Where did they? Where did they go on holiday? Yes. Yeah. They go and what? And there's more birds in the tree. Okay, there. Let's try to check. Mẹ đâu rồi bà? Oh. Bà bảo mẹ ra đây hả con? The answer there is C. There are just few insects at the other sides. And for the number four, which photo are they talking about? A, B, or C? The answer mm. is A. I. A, correct. And which boy is Michael? Which boy there is Michael? Is C. C, okay, good job. So you just have one mistake, that is three. Okay, so that's great. So you should listen properly, okay? And no distraction so that you can have focus, all right, Ken? Yes? Yeah. Okay, so this time, the last, what you're going to do with this, this is the last thing that you're going to do. Can you see this? Can you Color. see the screen? Okay. Yes. Listen and color the picture there based on that example. All right. Can you do that one? Yes. Can you do it? Okay. Yeah. Try to play the audio. You can listen then while coloring. Okay. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Let's color something. All right. Can you start with the girl's hat? Okay. What color? Um, green. Okay. Can you see the green hat? This is an example. Okay. Now you listen the green and here. color and draw and write. One. Now. Would you like to color something else? Yes. I want to color the snowman. Well, not all of him. Just his belt. Fine. Belt. Shall I make it yellow? All right. Yellow belt. Color the belt of the snowman yellow. Okay, go, Can. Try to color it. Two. Can I draw something now? Yes, of course you can. Draw some spots on the snowman's hat. Yes, that will look good. And then, colour them purple. Okay, I'll do that. Hat. Okay. Three. I like drawing. Can I do some more? No. Can you write something now? Oh? What shall I write? Write the word ski. Where? On the boy's jacket. Ski. Okay. Four. Now, are you ready to color something else? Yes. Can you color the sledge? 
Sledge. All right. What's a good colour for that? Black. Uh, no. Blue's better, I think. Yes, I agree. Five. OK. One last thing now. Can I colour the snowman's nose? <laughs> That's too easy. Let's do his umbrella. Well, umbrella. what colour would you like? Uh, grey. All right. Okay. Now listen to part five again. Okay, I guess you don't need to part the second one. Part. Okay, there. What is the color of snowman's belt? It is yellow. Okay, good job. Very good. It's check. How about what is the color of the spats on snowman's hat? This one here. What color is that? That is? Uh, the purple. Sport. Purple. Write what? Write the what color you write and uh, what word you write on the jacket of the boy. What color you write? I mean, what word mm -hmm. you write? What you word you write on the jacket? That is ski. Okay, and for the sledge, she color it with blue. Okay, good job. And for snowman's umbrella, you color it gray. Okay, very good. There, so you color it well. So I guess that will be all for tonight, Ken. And thank you so much for listening. Okay? So, see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye, teacher. Okay.